and welcome to What's for Dinner, where we cook quick, efficient, healthy meals every single day. And you know what? We do it in half an hour. I'm Ken Costick. And I'm Mary Jo Eustace. And Ken is absolutely right on. We make delicious, wonderful, happening, fabulous meals from things we have in our cupboard, in our fridge, in our corner store in about half an hour or so. Tell it on the mountain, sister. I just did. What about you? <laughs> You're looking very bright today. Don't you think I look a bit like celery, a yes. vegetable, and you look a bit like a fruit because you've got the orange, so I'm going to call you my little tangerine man. You can. Can I? Yeah, oh, you good. can. Oh, yeah. good. Now, what are you making today, sir? I'm making this wonderful poached red snapper with lime and parsley. So if you want to grab a pen, I'll tell you what you require for this recipe. I love snapper. You need... Three cups of vegetable stock to poach in. Half a cup of lime juice. Half a cup of finely chopped parsley. Half a cup of white wine. One tablespoon of honey or sugar. Four cloves of garlic crushed. Six small limes quartered. One ta tablespoon oh of lime rind. Ooh, that Put just about, yeah. Baby. Four large red snapper fillets. <laughs> and half a teaspoon of black pepper. I can't speak to oh, I'm so glad you got to do that. You know what? This is going to be a low-fat day. Yeah, totally. And uh, we're going to uh, poach some fish. We are going to poach some fish. But, you know, it's not totally low-fat because that would be a misdemeanor. Why? Because I'm making a pear and celery soup with cream. Whipping cream. Oh, yes. No, yeah, no. Yeah, I mean yeah. my dish, You mean your dish, though. of yes, course. Yes, yeah. And, and Snapper's available all year, year round, round fresh yes. if you'd like to get it, isn't yeah. it, Ken? And you can get it frozen in fillets. In fillets. Yep. Excellent. Good to know. Great. So we better get started Now, let here. me just get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. <laughs> we'll just put that. Oh, oh, there we go. bitter little woman. It's okay. over there if you need it. I No, I don't need it. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Uh... Poaching. Yeah, talk to me about poaching. Poaching, of course, is when you cook something uh, below the boiling point, and it's excellent for fish, and it brings out the lovely, delicate flavor. Are you all, oh, sweetie? Good? You okay? Pat? Sorry. Um, it, it's very good for um, cooking uh, fish because um, uh, fish is a delicate substance, and it brings out the flavor nicely, and it cooks right. it in a low-fat fashion. It does. Low-fat yes. fashion. And, you know, you can do different things. Uh, you can poach turkey, you can yeah. poach, uh, I've even done some meat. What have you poached? Uh, turkey breast. Oh. Chicken. <laughs> so never a fish. beef. Never a beef in a poaching. Uh, no. Is that a bit controversial? I've done veal. <laughs> have you? Yeah. Ooh, that can I say really, that? I think you can. Okay. That would be really good. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So you've got a lot of limes I've today. got a lot of limes to do, and <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do is saute. Oh, that's excellent. Some garlic. You know what I should have uh, brought? I should have brought you my little Mexican uh, lime squeezer. It's excellent. So I'll bring that for you next time. You Speaking work about Mexican. I know. We have a visitor. We have a visitor. I brought Sophia today, my little Mexican dog. You didn't believe me, did you? No, I, I didn't. And? I didn't believe you. And? And I think she is absolutely lovely. She isn't she She beautiful? looks like you. Thank you. She's very delicate and very petite. Well, she, yeah, well. Yeah, just why don't we go with that? Okay. Definitely. Now, just she is petite. She's very petite. Yeah. She's a year old, and she's absolutely lovely. So we'll have her on, and we'll give her some tortillas in the final segment. Now, I got to ask you something. Sure. If you, if you found her, if she jumped on your belly. Yes, she did. On, on a beach. Yes. And she survived that. She did. Yes. I was wearing a bikini. How, how did she? And. How did you know, how do you know she's a year old? Because I took her to the vet and they look at her. I don't know what that segue was. She landed on my stomach and how do I know that she's a year old? Well, I mean, did she talk to you? Did the she owners did. talk to you? Uh, did, no, I took you know. her to the, the Mexican vet, Felipe, and yeah. he said, he looked at her teeth and she's a year and two months old. So, so you, let me take a look at those teeth. Oh my God, you're older than beautiful? I thought. You're 63 years old. <laughs> No, but that's how they knew, and she was in very good health, and we got all her shots. Uh -huh. She's got a little Mexican rabies tag. It's quite adorable. Right. And we brought her home in a little pink container. Oh. And I was so nervous. Did, you, did she go under she the seat? She went in cargo because she couldn't oh, yeah. fit under my yeah, seat. Yeah, she's, she's a bit, yeah. I was sedated the whole time. I was so nervous that something was going to happen to her, but she came out perfectly. Yes. Now, listen, the, the cool thing about poaching that you've got to remember right. is only cover your, the thing you're poaching in, a, in about that much of liquid, right. not you too don't, much liquid. You don't want to fill it completely up. And also, uh, an interesting point about poaching is you can actually dry out the fish mm -hmm. you were and you can overcook it. So make sure that you don't do that. That's it a very will be good dry. Tip. And also, Kenny's using some limes. Are you going to use any lime rinds today? Yes, I am. Then, sweetie, make sure, make wash sure you your limes. wash these. Go wash them. 
I think now. Do you think you should wash okay, them now? Okay, I will. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to order you around, but I do like it a bit. Oh, gee. I'm just going to put on my burner. Hey, do you know that you can freeze oh. a whole lime? Did you know that? <laughs> Is it's my the voice sound a bit of, irritating. It is today. Yeah. It it's like right in my ear. It's I'm piercing sorry. my eardrums. Sweetie, sweetie, I'm sorry. Okay, I've added in the lime juice. Okie dokie. And before I wash my limes, I'm going to chop up the fresh parsley. But if you wanted to, you could use um, Go for dried it. parsley and you can replace this. You can add, uh, you know what would be perfect for this recipe? Mary Jo, Talk I got to tell me. you something. Go, babe. What would be perfect for this recipe is instead of adding the parsley, yeah. maybe add half the amount of parsley and half the amount of dill or mint. Oh, that's a good tip. There you go. Oh, I didn't know where that was going, but I'm so glad you brought it And instead of home. adding white wine, yeah. I would add a liqueur, about a tablespoon of a liqueur that has a mint like uh, ouzo or something in it. Ouzo, behind. Now, do you have a bit of a substitute? Because I could help you out on the substitute if you do have a substitute. Mm, I uh, Don't help me out with it if you want. We're I using you could... honey today. It, <clears throat> but if you wanted to, you could use a liquid uh, cal cal reduced calorie sweetener. Oh, baby. Nice. Came nice out. Work. There it was. There Absolutely it was. Absolutely wonderful. And I, you know what? I no. use a liquid uh, cal uh, cal <laughs> lower calorie Oh, reduced geez. liquid replacement all the time. Do you really? But don't you find that it makes you retain water and a bit puffy in the face? <laughs> no, this no. is just what I've heard. No, no. Okay. Actually, now you're putting your honey in. Now over here with my soup, I put in my celery and I put in my onion and my ginger and garlic and we're going to get this off to the races. And then we're going to use some lovely pears in our soup and some uh -huh. vegetable stock and some cream. So it's going to be a beautiful hearty soup to accompany and our then, light dish. And then we're going to look through the kitchen and see what we have, And right? we're going to come up with some stuff. All right. Okay. I'm I better wa wash my um, Wash your limes. limes. Okay. And we have here, uh, I don't, ha we have here <laughs> some lemon rind already done. Okay. That's green. So that would be a lie. But yeah. hey, it's your interpretation of the fruit, right? And here's my book that was thrown <laughs> By Mary jo. I was aiming for the bookshelf. Jeez, I'm sorry. Oh dear. Okay, so well, we're over here. Um, okay. And a pear soup is a lovely soup. Pears are great things washing to cook with. That. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> washing, washing, washing. <laughs> okay, Kenny, come back. You know what? No. I got to tell you something. What? Look at this. It doesn't work. I got to call Albert. Isn't the plumber. it? Uh, is that his no. name, Albert, the plumber? Albert's the plumber. Okay. Charlie's the electrician. Come over here, my friend. Bring your, bring your little limes and Doesn't wash work. them. You know what? The pipes maybe, are frozen. Maybe we'll wash them next no, door. No, there's bread in them. Cinnamon there's bread. toast. bread, exactly. No. Kenneth Caustic, I have yes. a bit of a tip for you before no. we go to the break. No, I want to give a trivia question. question. Do you have one? No, you don't. Do you have one? No. Kenny, what's a Wahoo? And I'm I'll tell you after the break. Do you know? I do. Oh, my God. Really? Yeah. Welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just sautéing my vegetables for my delicious cream, pear, and celery soup. But before I move on to that, I'd like to repeat the trivia question for my good friend and my lovely co-host, Ken Caustic. Mm -hmm. Ken, yeah. mm -hmm. what is a wahoo? A wahoo is a fleshy fish. And they're usually between 20 to 40 pounds. And the Hawaiians actually call them ono. Are you serious? Yeah. Do you know you win today? I know I win today. You get the prize. Today. Can I go get it for you? Go get it. <laughs> oh. Oh. How was that? Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Oh, If I God. had known, I would have lost for I sure. I resent that. Oh. Thank you, Kenny. I'm going to chop up my pear so I can put them in my soup. So is this the first time I've ever gotten a trivia yeah. question? Yeah. Can you imagine what happens if you win a second time? <laughs> <laughs> what you get? Oh frightening. boy. Frightening. Well, it it, it well, is it, it frightening. It truly is frightening. Mm -hmm. Got a little of my lipstick on your mouth. Do I? Yeah. I, do, I usually wear a different color. You do. You're into peaches. Yes. Peaches and pinks. It accents my complexion better. It does, I think. What are you doing, babe? You got okay, your limes. Okay, I've washed happening. my limes during the break. Yes. I'm putting them in. Marching to the fridge March to, to the get fridge. my red snapper. I'd like to make a bit of a pear tip. I'm using uh, pears, obviously, in my soup today. And when you use pears in cooking, the skin turns dark. So it's probably a good idea to either remove them before cooking, I think, and definitely think before so. serving if you cook them. Because they'll look funny. Ooh, nice snappers, Ken. You have a nice pear. 
of. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just saying. I have a nice pair. There we go. Thank you. Now. I thought you were going to say I'm pear-shaped. You're a uh, bit pear-shaped. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Are you? Yes. No, since okay. you've worked out, you've totally uh, filled out. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> you like that action, do you? Oh, it's very, very flattering. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I've made a little spot uh, in the center. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I'm going to put the fish in. <laughs> Behind. Now, a, a good tip here is you can get red snapper, as we had said earlier in the show, yes. all year round. It's true, definitely. Yes, all year round. But the peak season is in the summer. <laughs> that would be absolutely correct. And it cooks very quickly, doesn't it, Snapper? It's it a, does. It's a thin uh, fillet fish. Yes, so all we need here is five to seven minutes. And we're off to the races. We're off to we? the races. Beautiful. Great. Okay, so I've got this happening. I've got my pears in, and I'm going to march over, and I'm going to add my stock, and I'm going to add the cream at the last moment. Did, did I say something? One other thing I just oh, wanted I'm to sore. mention about yes. the main dish. Yes. Five to seven minutes. We brought it to a boil, but we reduced the heat down to a simmer. Because what's poaching, Ken? You don't. It's under boil. Under the boiling point. Right. In front, do you mind? I'm just putting my stock in, and we'll bring this to a boil. And then we will puree it and add our cream. It's going to be so yummy. Oh, okay, put lime. One. There you go, your lime rind. You're right. There Excellent. We now, we, I'd like the viewers to see this. I okay. am very fish proud today. You are. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? That's beautiful. Yes. Now. Kenny, what's this action, man? I've got stuff to do over here, and there's absolutely nothing going on here. Well, uh, I had to go next door to get some water. Oh, okay. They have water next door. Oh, they do. We don't. I know. I've noticed. Yeah. Don't I've like called that. Albert. Okay. He's going to try and make it. He's on his way? In his skidoo suit. I don't know if I want to see that. <laughs> okay. All right, you've got a basket. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm going to get some... Uh, 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 uh. Who's... Oh, it's that guy. Hose. He's got hose in, in his hand. Yeah. Hey, hey! Come uh, in, please. Hi. Sean. Round back. What's that action? Uh, maybe that has something to oh do with our plumbing. Oh, my gosh, he's wrapped up in a hose. You know what I'm going to do? <coughs> this is a very good idea. I've got some leftover risotto, and I'm going to make little risotto muffins. Hey. What, what do you think? That's great. That'll go nicely with our fish. Uh, what else should we have? Get your vegetables. I'm going to look in the fridge. Okay, see what we've got in our fridge. Oh, And dear. then... Hi, Sean. Hi. Oh, what happened, honey? I was just uh, using this to water my... my Goats. Okay, you, your goats come here your now. Your goats. Is, is, yes. Is well, this... they need to be watered and. Yeah. Hello. No, no, dear. Is this ours? Uh, yeah. Well, Listen, okay. I was on attached to your house. I don't know if that makes it yours or not. <coughs> yeah, I think this might be ours. Sean, do you yes. know anything about plumbing? Well, I know that that's a pipe. I could take a look at the. Uh, okay. Okay. Because uh, we've called our problem. regular plumber. And he's a bit he's, indisposed. He's going to be a little, little while. He runs the general store. Oh. Okay. So he's kind of busy. I so see. if you could look at the plumbing. All right. That would be great. I okay. could look at it. Go yeah. take go take a look at it and see what you think. It's not working. I guess. Well, okay. Let me While see. they're looking okay, at you the look plumbing, at that. I'm gonna get my risotto. I'm going to uh, uh, go over these vegetables. What I think I'm going to do is uh, grill up some fennel, uh -huh. red pepper, yellow <laughs> pepper, eggplant and some asparagus oh. because that's what we had left over in the fridge. That sounds so hey. right on. Okay. Okay. And what I'm am I use doing? Use the grill. Okay. Now, for these risotto muffins, what I'm going to do is I've got some leftover risotto with peas that I made the other day, and I've got some sun-dried tomatoes and some Parmesan uh, cheese, and I'm going to. What, what's going on? Oh. Oh, this looks good. It looks Better. like it's happening. This looks excellent. Well, I think I. I better go out and check. I think my, something might be blocking the main Yeah, why? Pipe. Okay. So maybe I'll go out. I'm, okay. Might be something very simple. This, but this looks very good to simple. me. This looks okay. like this could Now, I just want to... But you think you know what you're doing, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Just let me take this. Do you t okay. The, the zester. That's going to help you. All right. Zest away, I Okay. Think. See you soon, bud. Bye. Sure. Go Is, for it. Yeah. Okay. So, as I said, we have some eggplant. I've, mm -hmm. I've sliced up lengthwise the little bit of fennel that we had left over. And I'm going to do a uh, big <laughs> chunks of yellow pepper and right. big chunks of sweet red pepper. This is going to be so delicious, Kenny. And, you know, this is a very good way to use your leftover vegetables. Well, look at this. Totally that haven't leftover. been cooked. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, we use half our meal tonight is uh, is leftovers, and I've got the risotto, and I'm smells going good. Since my that yummy smells very good. And I'm going to add a few sun-dried tomatoes and some Parmesan cheese, and I'm going to spray my muffin tins with a non-stick spray, and we're going to bake them in the oven for Guess about what? ten minutes at 350 degrees. I'm going to do the viewer mail. Go ahead, right on, sister. Listen, I've got a bit of a tip because, believe it or not, Kenny missed it, and it pertains <gasps> to his dish. But if you're poaching fish oh. and you use celery sprigs, if you put it in the poaching liquid, it eliminates the fish odor. Who knew? No, actually, I didn't miss it. Oh, I don't know. even pretend. I was going to do it after the viewer mail. But you had to jump right in there and Kenny, steal it Kenny, from me, that, that, which that tip's always been does. up for 12 minutes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you did not go for that tip. Okay. The viewer mail is from Stephanie Lanaro Burnett. I'm going to start culinary school. And she says, I just have to ask you if there are any pointers or words of advice that you could share with me. How does one become a great chef and thrive in the food and services industry? Well, you know what? I guess dedication. <laughs> dedication. And not watching our show. No. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. You touched me. Did I? And I liked okay. it. Okay, dedication and a lot of experimenting, I'd say. I'd say totally. Yes. That's a very good tip. Yes. No, I think the important thing is to enjoy it and to be creative, and it, it can offer you lots of different right. avenues. And, and, and the other thing also is I, I do want to point out, I'm not a chef. Are, are you? What? I'm, I'm not a trained chef, but I'm a chef. You are a I'm chef. I'm a very You're good a very cook. good chef. You're a yes. very. I think both of us, uh, even though I, I took a bit of training, we're both very instinctual. I think that that's why we work yeah. so well together. Maybe. And we like the same thing. And it of could food. be in a larger metaphor, not just the kitchen, that we work well together. I don't think you so. You never know. No, no. You never Anyways, know. Uh, that's the advice I'd give you, yeah. Stephanie. Keep trying and uh, cook for your dedication, friends, for your cook family. for your family. Yeah, everything. Definitely. And experiment and write your recipes. Down. Write them down. Yes. So I've got my uh, risotto mixture and I've grated some Parmesan cheese and sun dried tomatoes and I sprayed my little muffin tins with a non stick spray and I'm going to put those in there at about 350 degrees for eight to ten minutes. Right, Kenny? That's How's right. How's the fish going? You know what? It's going to be done in a little while and with Red Snapper, you have to be careful. So go, we're going to go, go to go. the break. Yes. In a minute, we'll come back Over and here, put sweetie. it all together. Over here, baby. Yeah, and what's for dinner? See, See you in a minute. minute. Hello, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. I've just... Oh, sorry. I've just started grilling my vegetables here. We've got fennel, uh, sweet yellow pepper, red pepper, some asparagus, and eggplant, and these were all vegetables I found in the fridge left over from the weekend. It's true. They look absolutely yeah. delicious. So this is going to accompany our main dish. Our fish and our soup and our yes. uh, rice cakes. Right. And did you put some nice spices on that? It I did. wonderful. I sprinkled a little bit of dried chili powder, yeah. a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. That's it. Oh. And some oil. I think I found what the, this was... In the pipe. Oh, I got it out with a zester gosh. there. This is Sophia. Oh. This Sophia. is Sophia from Mexico. She Here. matches. Hola, Uncle Kenny. Hola. Isn't she sweet? She was in there. She had a couch and a television. She was living in the Oh, this he pipe. looks oh, like he's been dear. working really yeah. hard. Kenny, can you finish off my soup yes. with some cream, sweetie? Right. And mm. we're going to put some cinnamon. We're making a nice pear soup. Oh, Does two that look soups good? Or pear no, pear and celery soup with cream. Oh. And speaking of cream, cream, the heavier the cream you use in something, uh, right. it, it stops curdling. It's a good uh, non curdling agent. Well, right, well, Kenny? That's right. Thanks so much, Sean. Sean, oh, do you want to take, take a look at, at my pipes? I'm not getting personal, but could you just sort of look over there and see what the action is? Well, I, I think it's working now. Uh, okay. There we go. Oh, look at that. You might want to let it run for a while to get the dog out of it. Lay me five. Yeah. Very nice. Very yeah. nice, sir. Yeah. I'm going to put Sophia down, wash my hands. Yes. And uh, then I'm going to help Kenny serve the food. All Thanks, right. Sean. My pleasure. I'll take the... You be careful. I'd like to give you a low-fat tip about cream. <laughs> How's that? Pardon me? I'm going to give you a low-fat tip about cream. Okay. Okay. You know what I do? I do a couple of things. If I'm making a soup or a sauce, and I don't want to use cream or milk or sour cream, something like that, you know what I do? I do I know. use some mashed potato. Ooh, excellent. Or I grind up some French bread in, or puree it up in the food processor. Kenny. And that acts as a thickening agent. Oh, Kenneth. There you go. Oh, I want to kiss hey? you, but I did already. You did and already. And I think I can wait a little while to do that one again. I think so. Now, what I've got over here is I've got some cinnamon, and I'm going to garnish our pear soup with a little 
uh, dried cinnamon. Oh, this is going to yeah. be so yumbles. And I'm going to go to the oven and take up my rice cakes. Um, oh, uh -huh. what's, what is it, hon? I'm hungry. Okay, 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 well, okay. yeah. Put your, put your piping down. Yeah. Well, thank okay. you. And then or, we're going to have a little dinner together. No, no, together. he can't put the piping down. Why, why can't he's we got, He's He's got to fix the other pipe that goes to the dishwasher. Oh, uh, This okay. one oh, that he, me. he didn't Men. connect. Oh, sweetie, this one, move, here. Okay. This one goes Ooh. here. Ooh. This Is one. Is this not a whole lot of fun with all these, these macho men in the kitchen fixing my pipes? No, I love this. this one so, goes So keep in tuning here. in and watch us next time on What's for Dinner. We had fun today, don't you think? Around Everybody, there. bye. Take care. Put that in there.